to be or not to be? That is the question that you should be asking yourself if you rely on a camera to make a living. Ah, yes, AI is coming for your business. It's coming for your livelihood, possibly. I don't know, it's kind of a complicated thing. I didn't want to believe it at first. I mean, I'd seen the clips of, like, uh, Will Smith eating spaghetti that looked absolutely ridiculous, obviously not real. And so I told myself I had nothing to worry about. I still have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about anything. And uh, then I kept seeing these clips pop up from Sora. And, you know, they're showing supposedly these amazing uh, cinematic, realistic scenes that were put together by an AI image generator but I resisted the temptation to click on those videos because I didn't need to worry about that. And then I finally did. And oh my gosh, boy, have I been blown away. I was completely wrong. We do have something to worry about here. I mean, uh, some people do. Uh, let me elaborate a little bit. So, you know, these things, people type in a little bit of text and out comes this amazing cinematic uh, scene. It's not very long, but remember, we're just at the beginning of this whole AI revolution. Does that mean that you, as a person with a camera, have something to worry about? I, if To be honest, if you're in like real estate photography or something like that, or you're going out and recording real places, probably not. Uh, probably not, because the AI, I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that's going to be able to type in something very detailed and specific and come up with some prox uh, proxy of whatever the real thing is, but uh, it's probably not going to look quite the same as the real thing, so you're you're okay for, th for the most part. There, there are some uh, caveats to that that I'll get into in a little bit, if you don't mind waiting. Keep waiting. I could be AI. This could be AI generated. You don't even know this is a... No, well, no. I, I promise I'm not, even though I might be. But uh, let's say Hollywood and television, they are the ones that are probably going to be heavily affected by this. Now, normally, you know, to create some amazing cinematic world or something like that, it requires a very large budget. You have to build the sets. You have to have the lighting, the cameras. And we're not talking about, you know, somebody in their A64 or A6500, I guess now it's the A6700, or even the Sony A7S3 or the A74. Sony makes good cameras. Or a Canon or an Icon, you know, or any of those others that people use. We're not talking about that kind of equipment. We're talking about, you know, cameras that require cranes to move them around because they've got these giant reels of 35mm film and mechanisms to move the film through and all of that. Mechanical shutters and whatnot, you know. To be able to have that film look, the cinematic look, uh, all just, you get my point. All the stuff that goes into Hollywood... It requires an enormous budget to produce stuff like that. Well, now it doesn't, or at least very soon it won't. Any kid with a computer is going to be able to get on the internet, type in some stuff, and produce something that looks like that. Now, it's, you know, maybe the, the story isn't going to be that great. But, um, you know, if somebody does have a creative mind, they're going to be able to get on there and come up with all kinds of stuff. They'll be able to make a, a movie that looks that good without having to have the giant budget of the studio. And uh, I'm sure that Hollywood is very concerned about that because it means a lot of people will be out of work. Very creative people that have spent a lot of time and effort uh, building skills, they, they won't be able to use them anymore because of AI. So areas of creativity that we thought the AI thing wouldn't be coming. Sure, it was coming for, you know, like accountants and engineers and that sort of thing. And I understand engineers can be creative, but uh, you get what I mean. The, the, the creative world surely wasn't going to be threatened by AI. Well, now it is. Now it absolutely is, and um, I, I'm waiting for the pushback from Hollywood. Maybe some of this uh, this stuff really is pushback from Hollywood, where they're talking about the deep fakes. You, you, somebody could put videos on there that could be anybody, and you wouldn't even know. It, it could be you, and I think what they're really concerned about is Anybody can get online and make movies now that look like Hollywood movies. Anybody. Anybody. And uh, 
it's going to democratize everything. It's going to change everything. Now, you, you have a couple of videos back, we talked about YouTube coming into the living room. I think that they know that this is coming as well. This might be part of their push into the living room, that anybody on YouTube is going to be able to get on one of these things and create incredible movies, potentially. I mean, if they're creative enough. And just upload it to YouTube, and nobody's going to care about anything else. Nobody's going to care what the major networks are coming up with, any cable network, uh, any of that. It's just going to be kind of like what social media did to the news media. They had a monopoly. They, had, uh, they were the source of truth. And then all of a sudden, people like Tim Pool shop, you know, shopped, popped up, and, uh, well, they, you know, no longer had the same hold that they had before. Maybe you like hearing from the people at CNN, but other people, they can turn into someone like Tim Pool. I mean, I don't mean that they can change and become Tim Pool. I mean, they can tune in. That's an old, that's an old phrase for those of you who are too young. You tune in the TV. I remember having to use the dial on the TV to, you know, like, don't touch that dial. It was a real thing. You probably wonder, what in the world is a dial? Well, it's this round thing that you have to turn to tune into the signal. And, uh, yeah, well, people can click, I guess. You can click onto Tim Pool's videos and you can get the news that way. Or any news source, for that matter. It could be the, uh, the Young Turks or you name it but not the mainstream media, as other people call it, that's, uh, that's dying because now they have to compete with everyone. And there's been a lot of pushback. They've been trying to shut that down. Well, now it's Hollywood's turn, and they're going to have to compete with the everyday man, woman, anything else that you can come up with. They're going to be able to get on there and make these incredible films. So that is going to be a major problem. Now, uh, the marketing world. They also have to worry because now if somebody has a mom and pop shop, let's say, and they've got a little restaurant or something, they can simply take some pictures of the dishes that they make, go to the AI, tell it what they want to make, and then voila, they've, it's created this incredible advertisement for their restaurant and their food, which they can then go to social media and pay to have it advertised exactly to the customers that will likely come to their store. It's, it's a very, very different world going forward. So all of those people could find themselves out of work as well. If you do video for that purpose, you're making advertisements and marketing and whatnot, then you might be in trouble. You, you might find yourself with uh, without work. Now, I see another, remember earlier I mentioned the caveat for those people who are doing like real estate stuff and that sort of thing. Companies like Sony, um, I happen to be recording on a Sony right now, Companies like Sony, with uh, the collapse of all of these video production sort of things, might notice a decline in sales for their equipment. That could lead to big problems. Because a big company like Sony is going to say, well, there's not a lot of money now in the camera sort of thing, so we're going to take those resources and put them elsewhere because we don't just make cameras. And they'll just stop making new cameras. Um, the other com companies, I don't know, they could run into problems. They certainly might not have the resources to be able to produce or create, you know, better advancements in camera technology. I, I don't know where it goes exactly, but you might, uh, you might want to take care of the equipment that you have because there might not be replacements. Or, uh, you know, you know, you get what I mean. It's not going to be like it's getting better or something. That's just a possibility. Just speculation on my part. Unless I'm an AI and I'm not speculating at all. I could be just making it up if I'm AI. I'm not AI. You've got to trust me on that. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm completely real. I'm a real human being sitting in a real house in a real place that is completely not AI generated. I, I promise. Though, if someone wanted to produce an AI thing like this and just do a voiceover, they probably could. You know, it, it brings me back to the whole film look. Think of the things that you'll be able to do with this AI. Everybody wants to get that cinematic film look. You could tell the AI, I want it to, to look like it's been photographed or filmed on Kodachrome and this and that, and it'll, it'll produce results better than you could ever hope to produce on your own using uh, Lightroom or Premiere Pro or whatever any of the other ones are, DaVinci, I believe it is. All that stuff that professionals use. I think professionals use it. I assume. All the people on YouTube say professionals use it. They claim to be professionals. Who knows? 
But yeah, the, the AI is going to be able to do it all with just the, the couple of words typed into, well, maybe you might have to use more than a couple of words. I think you have to be pretty descriptive. But the videos that they were showing, it shows the description that they gave the AI ahead of time and then showed the results. And it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think some people are in trouble. I think it's coming for your job. Boy, Hollywood produced the Terminator way back in the day. If only they had known that AI really was coming to terminate their work. I'm waiting for the pushback. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I uh, am not AI, I promise, so I have to go do other things. Not what AI does. I'm not leaving this video to go and help someone else produce more AI content. I'll see you tomorrow.